I see fields of green. Radicanes too. And in the far distance, a midget that can kill you. That's the time we search our graves back to some more Misery Monday. The last episode, we entered this house for some odd reason because we were locked into this closed room because we went to the fourth island. Grave towers beyond this door, right? It's like a strawberry hole. I don't need to press this button. Alright, leave it to me! Oh, by the way, Nekomaru is a robot now, if you didn't know. Nekomaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the buttons at all times when he needed to. Start opening. That's weird. If we're in a strawberry hole, it should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine time to prefer to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Good chunk. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. The door opened. What was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grave Tower. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, but the ceiling's just as high as hard to make out. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this wall is green! Strawberry Tower the tower's wall is red! Speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Yes, the decal on the floor. A picture on the floor of a Sammy's face with grapes in her mouth. This feels different from Strawberry Tower. It's like a picture over there and a strawberry in her mouth. What's truly different? It's a door. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Mm. Strawberry door inside Grape Tower, that sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. Thanks for remembering. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back of Strawberry Tower. Oh, huh? uh, so on the strawberry side is a grape door, and on the grape side is a strawberry store. That's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, the door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at the map, so there's nothing beyond the far door of the back house. Back door of the grape house. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try. I think. What? what did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? What do you want to doing, Kazuchi? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. So you ran away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's understandable. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chucky to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the funhouse structure. Secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. In the elevator. Strawberry Hall is on your left hand side, right? And if you try to walk along it, you end up with Strawberry Tower, right? On the other hand, Grape House. In the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right side, right? And if you walk along it, you end up in Grape Tower, right? Now here comes the main point. Those two buildings. Whoa! Ah, so you were here all along! Oh, come on. Hey, hey. hey Chuck, you don't go running off on your own! Hey. You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You... Thanks for your disappearance, I was left alone with Nagito. Man. Was that annoying for you? Hell yeah, it was! I don't really belong to a creep like you! This is troubling. I see, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me? Oh, Kazuchi. Hey. hey, are you okay? You stop trusting other humans. Shut up. Well, yeah, Shut thanks up. to you, bastard! Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time! Well, yeah. There ain't any many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is... There's seriously no food anywhere! That ain't funny at all! Damn it. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, what do we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You, you imbecile, what are you implying? Ah. Uh, I'm sorry! That's Luigi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you got in your hands on my four duct tables of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? I shall engulf this world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four Dark Davids of Destruction shall no longer lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. <gasps> now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys found. Personally, I'd rather let Shiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, she doesn't know what everyone has to say. Now then. Is if I had a gun for Yuhiko and I represent our teams and give reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, Mongols. I discovered something that you fiends would be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team discoveries number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. So, first things first, what did you find? Damn 
right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. Second floor Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones of the second floor Strawberry House. Hmm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, it's just covered with grape patterns. Also, I also like the guest rooms. That's a similar lounge here as well. It's also a phone lounge too. Is that picture the same guy? That's a question to think about. However, instead of the grape button, I was on the phone in the Strawberry House Lounge. There's a strawberry button on the phone in the Grape House Lounge. Now then. No, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the buttons show where each phone connects to. The picture on the buttons show where each phone connects to. It's probably it. Pictures on the phone. You know how to do a thing. Okay. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good Which means not that important at all. Hey, bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Um... Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was just an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who built a memorial house in their hometown. I think I saw. Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe that was my hidden Monokuma in there, but that seemed a little bit too obvious. And it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Actually. Uh, also, I found a lost child in a Monokuma archive. What? 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 Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide! Come on out! <laughs> Hello. So the lost child was you. Right? right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. It's okay, I won't be depressed anymore. I'm just used to being treated so poorly. How sad. It's so sad I get used to it. <sighs> Seems a little tense. Um... Did Monica bring you here as well, Monami? <laughs> yeah, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you as a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you that's still rabbit meat? No. I'm expected to be food? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, you're just hiding up there. Alright. Gundam, what did you find? <laughs> now then, I shall prevent you my discovery. Let me tell you I won't say to say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before he arrived here. Said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey. Could it be? <laughs> Razawichi and you lonely humans. Yeah. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice and the destroyer world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that? It's just a radio controlled toy. <laughs> Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up, shut up. I'm not asking about that. You mean that shit part you found was just some radio controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the shit being real. Stupid idiot moron! Yeah. Looks like you don't even have the strength to get upset. Might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too, but our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? And is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well, well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently and the shrubby tower that we're in earlier, they're actually the same building. Two towers of the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What well, makes you think that? See? Their positions. What? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall's on your left when your back is facing the elevator. And in Grape House, Grape Hall's on your right when your back is facing the elevator. And so if you think about it, put those two together. The two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? That might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? In the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean the strawberry house is beyond that door that's that strawberry image on it. As well as the opposite. The grape door that was at the strawberry tower would lead to grape house. Meaning you opened the grape hole's door when you came in here. Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry or Grape Tower. Perhaps. 
which means when you look at the other side of the great hall door that used to come in here, yep. the grand pi great picture should actually be on here. Hey. And all we gotta do is confirm it, right? We can close that door from the other side. Mm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were the first ones to enter the Great Tower, right? Oh. What's wrong with that? Well, well, that was the complete wrong voice. When you turn to Great Tower from Great Hall, didn't it take a little off the door open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So just as I assumed. How'd you know? Mm. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly, the strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of me. The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. But why? The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors opened at the same time, you'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you so what I mean was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for the Strawberry Doors door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like, like you're saying all this hard stuff, don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the wall and Strawberry Town Grape Towers are different, you know? It's not way they did the same building. You don't know? They're just lights on the floor that are being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Mm -hmm. Maybe the floor is just the screen. The picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say it's the same building, yeah? What? But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um... For example, we should leave someone behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right? And if it's still here, we can conclude that it's the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? <laughs> I'm not surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that sensor, that sensor could probably detect any movement within the tower. Hmm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I know there's at least some, something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey. What about Nakamura? He's a heartless robot. Yeah. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. What? But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I see all functions within sleep mode, the sensors will detect it, but... Do you need to go that far to test it? I'm not tolerating a robot prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Once I'm in sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It's possible that you might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. And why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll need this handbook here and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. Then by chance the handbook is still there, and we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right, let's try this. We left behind Chucky's e handbook right away, then we left Free Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. It shushes around and. It's weird how this place is so foggy, but. Okay, elevator. I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It's like the Toad's Ward. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's Ward? What's he talking about? Mm. It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. Seems like it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Uh, if the two towers are connected in the middle, then it isn't between them shouldn't be that much. Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Easy. Oh, it's on the left, right. Hi Gundam, what are you doing over here? Oh, Chiaki's there too. Hold on. If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry Tower. Hey, hey. Then I'll press it. Stay back. Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go right for Dark Devas of Destruction! Pierce through, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy! Choo choo. <laughs> Click. Ah, he pressed the button. <laughs> Truly, this is a Skyline Lamentation Art of the Demon Mouse. <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open! Wow, amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have Wait a minute, how did he go from- what? 
I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements. It's a clip of the Dark Lady. You have my praise. Amazing. Truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with him. Thank you. Huh? You didn't need to bother making your hands to press it. Mm. Just as I thought, it's taking you out to open. Mm. Considering what we discussed earlier, senses will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower. Now wait for the other door to close. And I remember to heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. There it is. My. Ah, look over there. Remember we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonia raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing. It's there, the handbook. Yep. There's no doubt, it's my student handbook. Huh? The handbook Chiaki left in Grave Tower is here, and that means... <laughs> seems that we confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually just the same building. Depending on whether you're ended from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry or Grape Tower. Easy. Then huh? that door over there with a grape image on it. I see. Stole the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape Hall's how Grape Hall! What? This is troubling. But it also means we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. However, Why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil. It's probably no reason. Simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Hmm. Uh, who are you again? Yes. I'm Monami. Why did you forget about me? <laughs> that reminds me. Whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Sure, sure. According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh, my. Huh? Is it that time already? Damn. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma Allow me to answer! Every single day up until now, I've consistently let you know when it's morning and night on the island. But thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. Did you get mistaken for some kind of petty alarm clock? Hell. Oh, well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters in the morning or night anyway. Ah, oh, so I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first four lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. Yeah. And it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Mm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um... Each house has five guest rooms. We should first decide who is going to stay in which house. Mm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes. Yes, let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but well, I guess it makes sense. This then ladies first. The will of causality. Now then, let us begin. Kittens, choose which house you would like. Um. Let's just choose Grape House. I'm staring at a room I'm like it's just going to shrink my eyes. Oh. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Oh, so each house's guest rooms vary in quality, right? Damn right? Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? There are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy would be left over. <laughs> so that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun, and the results? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> Lucky student. <laughs> That's why I take second place. That's fine, I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided, you two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner... <laughs> it's me, I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hatchway. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. hey, how about your grape house girls? Didn't you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia, I have the deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Why'd you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's, not like that. it's good enough for me. You guys might think it's my pretty crappy, but it's palace compared to my home. Um... So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that! Oh, my. Why not? Well... I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know? Um... What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What am I... Uh, huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think you try to trick us. <laughs> it seems that you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Hey. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? 
Hard to make, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll just stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, oh, man. It, like, doesn't make any sense. And so all the guys except for me ended up staying in the night on the second floor of Strawberry House, and all the girls plus my leftover cell stayed on the second floor of Grape House. You know, the usual. <laughs> Gee, just as I thought, I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> What's she planning? <laughs> so this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. What do you mean? You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. That means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about pretty petty stuff. Sleepy. Oh, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? So can we go already? Yo. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, use the room next to the lounge. Then... So the standard room access from the lounge will remain unoccupied. I should prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I should also include portraits of everyone's faces. You don't really need to draw faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. And good night. After reaching the limits of our sleepiness, Chucky stack it over to our deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I shall really tired for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, see you tomorrow! After a shanty good night, everyone went into their guest rooms. I actually get some sleep too. I think it's the crummy room that's next to the lounge. So it's this one, right? It would be something if I went to the other crummy room. It was just turned out to be like a, 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 a scene. But, you know, done. God, look at this. Surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. Shouldn't be talking like that. But now I need to enjoy it no matter what. No matter what happens, I'll definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Sneeze, snore. Don't know why I said sneeze. Ha! <laughs> if you say so, Monokuma. If you say so. Editing me's probably already done something. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> this concludes the Monica with Theater Morse Code Edition. That says something like despair or whatever. Ugh. That was rather unexpected. It's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. Should head over there and see what time it is. But first... Oh look, the nameplate's whatever. I was thinking about this whilst I entered the thing. Keep out. What? What happened? Wait, what? Excuse me. What? Did I bug it? Really? Come on now. <laughs> really? Ugh. This is dumb. <laughs> No one told me that this was going to happen. And why do I keep seeing faint images of 8-bit Monokuma? Alright. Let's get the mouse out. So, there's Monokuma. Alright. Face this way. We definitely did. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Can someone save me from this hell? Am I going straight up? This is going higher and higher. I really probably shouldn't have been here, right? Oh my. This, this can't be a real thing, right? Oh god. Wait, did I move position a little bit? I I feel like I'm moving positions a little bit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, I don't know how much it is I'm going to keep in, but um, if cutting happens now, it's cutting happens now. But... Ramane! Just for you. Okay, let's see if I can solve this problem. Hey, uh, Post Josh here. Just wanted to chime in real quick about what I found regarding this glitch. Um, from what I can gather by looking for YouTube, it's definitely a known glitch, and it's occurred both in Strawberry House and the hospital, as well as in Grape House. It seems to be something regarding corners in the maps and entering it in such a way 
uh, which explains how I got clipped out to the void here. So yeah, not much else to say other than it's a known bug, and it's certainly a weird one. Back to past me. The help button doesn't help! <laughs> okay. So this... Okay, no, I can't do that, because I don't know what I did. Uh, this is rather peculiar. Let's try something. This is a, 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 a brisk situation, but... 22. Exit. And continue. Oh, come on! This is dumb. Let's buy some stuff from the vending machine while we're at it. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing that's happened so far. Trust me. I don't even understand. Buy some of these. Buy some of these. Buy some of these. I don't even know why I'm buying these. And a couple of chocolate chip jellies. There! We have done something. Wait, please. Uh. Wait, what? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Why is the map showing the first floor now? Yeah, there's a clock in the lounge, I get it, but... Why am I in the first floor? What's going on? This episode will be called The Void. Enter the void. <sighs> I hear footsteps. So that's definitely me moving. This is dumb. Ah, <laughs> oh, but I bought all those things. I don't want to go back to another save just to remedy this. Ah, oh, someone please help me. Uh, even his face changed. I'm, and, and that's the crazy thing too. I'm leveling up because of this. I don't even know how long I've been in this thing. Oh, look! What's it gonna be? And I can't give it any presents. Ugh. Jeez. God damn it. Pygamy! Fine, you won't like some of that. Get some chocolate chip, Juggy. Oh, he's fl she's flopping about as well. Oh, shit. What if I saved and did it again? Uh, okay, so I spent some time 
talking with someone about this, and, uh... Basically... I don't know. That's the speaking it. They've got an idea, possibly. I don't know. That's that. That would be too far back, though. Wow. Just... Wow. I apologize if this is a shorter video because I cut out all this stuff with the voids, whatever. This is a strange documentation, to be sure, but... I guess the only way out of this is if I left and started from the beginning of the chapter again. So uh, unless this will take me to a good position. Oh, come on. I could have. Ugh. But I kind of don't want to do this at the same time. We'll continue this once more. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing, except I'm not actually. That will be the save of Void, we'll remember that forever. But save in a separate slot. And start from the beginning of this chapter. No, actually, load... I... This is something you'd never really see or hear about at all. So... Just to be sure. Yeah. Actually, you know... Here's an idea. I'm gonna try... I, I doubt it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try completely restarting DR2. So, I'll be back in a moment. This is like the silliest thing I've experienced in this game this whole time. It wasn't even intentional, this is just, this is just silly. Yep, ghost figure. Alright. I apologize for this happening. Obviously, I didn't expect it, but I'm just gonna have to start from the beginning again. So, uh, I'll zoom through everything as much as I can, and then by the time we get back to Grape House, um, I'll cut back in, so... This is, this is very dumb. Even though I've said this quite a lot, but... It's not, it's not what I expected at all to have happened. Oh no, I've got no connection online. Man, the beat button's fun. Now I think about it, the last time I've had to do something like this was way back at the very second episode, because if you remember, the original footage of the second episode got lost because of uh, a shit computer back then, but then I had to like zoom through the first prologue doing all the things I did in the first episode, and then catching up so I can do things. No, not the barn! <laughs> also a bit weird that I have to relive the events of the previous episode as well. What? I never expected something like this to have even happened in this game at all. It's just... I don't know why it's still, like, getting to me, but it's like the one thing that I never expected to have happened. Like, hey, look, I found an out-of-bounds thing, or like a glitch in a visual novel itself. That's just weird. Toot toot. 
at least he finally made it to the beginning of this episode, jeez. At least he's giving my voice a rest, am I right? Just pass through the robot prejudice line. We're about to reach the suit and handbook reveal. And then we'll get to the uh, the room discussion. There's a rock, paper, scissors. This game is stupid. Finally! Yeah, we know, we got it. Those single lines, those heat outlines are death. Do not walk towards them at any point. Guys, please don't. I mean, if you want to walk towards them in order to see if the glitch encountered was like a re repeatable thing, then uh, please do, but that is dangerous. Okay, finally! <laughs> After who knows how long, we're finally able to look at the lounge. <sighs> Let's see, the time is... 9am. It's later than they're used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I'll try something to talk to her, it might be good an idea to save my room and conserve my energy. Free time. This whole time, it was just free time. Okay. So, who should we spend time with? Let's look at the map. And yes, again, I, I need to apologize if this turns out to be a really, really small episode. Oh, come on, now I can move quickly to them? This game is asshole. Okay, now, who is where? Okay, Fuyuhiko is in his room. Oh, and he put the stickers on these rooms as well. Crummy room! Let's actually speak of Fuyuhiko, because... Well, let's get some hope back through. <laughs> what? I mean, look at this place. It's definitely crummy. Alright. How much longer do I stay in this? I feel like it's going to make you rot to death. Yes, invite to hang out. I wonder if I have any presents for him, I don't know. Yeah, sure. That doesn't sound awful. I spent time today talking with Fuyuhiko. Looks like Fuyuhiko grew a little closer. Oh, let's hope I've got something for him. Um, Probably not Blue Ram. He wouldn't like that. Huh. Meteorological instrument, temperature, humidity, barrel, but closer by shooting a balloon into the sky. Probably not. Never had fun already got rid of those, so we don't need to put them. America Clacker. <laughs> Adults and children like are fascinated by this toy. I don't know. It's actually really tough to think about what he would like. Dull kitchen knife. Plus set to Gekka. Sake! Do you, do you like sake? I'm trying to really owe you. I don't owe you any favors. <laughs> Well, you probably won't pose a threat later, so I'll just gratefully accept it. Hey, Fuyuko! How's that wound on your stomach doing? Huh? It's fine, nothing to worry about. Far you say that. You must have a normally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hmm. I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. Dream, huh? How okay, would that be? Oh, sorry, obviously you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well. That's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up until now. As long as I'm burdened with the Kazuryu name, I'll always be dealing with mountains and the bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's like a sick joke just to see students who live honest lives bumping into each other like this. This guy already knows vines enough. He guess he is used to it. Huh. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey. What is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. Huh. My old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hardhead, even if it's just a minor argument. He'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. 
Being a Yakuza means you can't even kill the man you love to get the point across. Huh. I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what was going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in could be more different. Like... There are a few times where I nearly got killed in my aftermath of my parents' fight. Peko. But whenever something like this happens, Pekko is always there by my side. Oh, I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? You don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. But still, I'm the right successor to the Xuriu clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> By the time I was in second grade, I didn't even cry if I lost a fight. I see, good for you. Hey, good for me? Don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I'm starting to get to know Fuhiko a little better. Okay. Report card been updated, hooray! It's weird to have actual forward progress. Stop to for Fuhiko about some other things that part of ways of him and return to my room. Oh, hi, Chiaki. There should be time for you to move around more freely. We'll do one more. Even though it's over an hour in terms of actual recording time, we need to do one more just to make up for this shorter episode because of the dumb shit that's happened. Uh, let's see. Everyone in the bottom row is dead. I mean, we've already seen that because of the map, but everyone in the bottom row is dead. That's weird to think about. Na, 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 na. Oh, yeah, Sonya. We, we haven't done much with Sonya, even though we did start with Sonya. Uh, where is she? Perhaps she is... Wait, no. I... There she is, in the Great House 3 F. Oh, look at that building. Is that, is that going to be... Think... Okay, no. It's it's the hideous abominations that they kept seeing out of the bounds. Get it away from me, please. They are not pleasant in the slightest. I mean, look at this place. I know it's hexagonal and all that, but jeez, it's dangerous. Um, we must find a way to escape this place. Invite Sonya to hang out. Well, Hajime, let us search for clues once again. Spend time today searching for clues with Sonya. I probably didn't deserve it, but let's look Sonya like a little closer. Give her a present. What's there to give her? I I could try like give her mineral water, but I don't think she would like it too much. Um, I got this jewelry though. I think she liked that. Yeah. Thank you for your time. I shall gladly receive this. No problem. Well, Hajime, there is something I would like to ask you today. Sure. What? Shush. Lower your voice. You don't know who might be listening in. Now then, come closer. No need to worry. Sonya said that she walked up to me one step at a time. Wow, she smells nice. <laughs> Hajime, I have to know a lot about the occult. What? <laughs> not really. Then. And what about cults? Uh, not at all. Yeah, I see. You certainly are deceptive. I've finished talking to you. Let's disperse for now. Hold on a sec. What in the world were you talking about? I am concerned. You are hopeless. Since I've already sailed this far, I shall sink you into the ocean. It's not how you say that. I... Though I understand it is a forbidden interest for a princess, I am quite interested in Freemasonry. Of course, my interest is purely academic. I have no intention of conspiring to overthrow the government. Well... When I think about Freemasonry, my chest just begins to hurt. It's like she's in love. However... It seems not many people understand this feeling of mine. And because of that, I feel quite lonely. Sometimes I feel like I just cry. Mm, Sonya's hobbies are pretty intense. Please wait. However, expanding my knowledge like this is the duty of every member of the royal family. And that is why I'm interested in the occults, cults, and popular dramas. Hmm, when she puts it like that, it sort of makes sense, but... Hajime, please think about it. Do you not agree that dismissing a different set of values due to ignorance is foolish? How, cool. How many foolish wars have been fought on the basis of that ignorance? Do you have a my country is certainly no exception. We still have many unique traditions that other cultures do not truly understand. Unique traditions, huh? That reminds me of each member of before. Makanga, right? <laughs> yes, but that is not the only one. Our country has an opposition which you are not analyzed as an adult until you consider consumer scong. I... However, I think my generation should be objecting to these traditions. Although it's nice to retain purebred Makangos and scongs as a symbol of high status. Auctioning them to the highest bidder goes against the spirit of animal conservation. Wait, they're animals? Please listen. We do not need to comply completely end this tradition. I should simply find new uses for Makangos and Skongs. They grow when they're scared and they shrink when they're angered. I plan to harness the energy they release in this state. Using the knowledge of the past, we shall develop a new energy source from our old traditions. Hold on, do strange animals like that really exist in your country? Perhaps. I understand that it may be a difficult path. Well? However, I shall accomplish it by any means. Guiding my people along the right path is the duty of a ruler. Her people must really believe she's a wonderful princess and she's actually fixed something like that. I believe that's true, but... In my eyes, Sonya and the Novice Set of Kingdom are just full of mysteries. More hope fragments. What now? And a somewhat bridging the cultural divide between us, I return to my room. There should be time for you to move around more freely. 
A third three times. Okay. Obvi I'm not going to be doing it. Because we've had enough experiences this episode. <laughs> so we are overriding that one. And keeping the the dead file, as I'm going to call it, as is. So in the next episode of Misery Mondays, we'll be doing another free time and then actually continue more into the, the Grape House. Oh, even though we did nothing, barely, barely anything this episode, it was just a... It's certainly a experience to have had getting glitched into a, some kind of white void in a visual novel like this. It's, it's something I'd never expected to have done. I don't know. If it's like a completely unknown glitch and I just happen to find it, then holy wow. But if not, then I don't know. Just, uh, just an experience that we have. In the next episode of Mystery Mondays, I already said what we were going to be doing. See you then. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.